Hello and welcome to another scripting tutorial. Okay, so this tutorial we're going to be learning about hopper bins. So hopper bins are basically like tools, but they're not exactly tools. So let's start off by inserting a hopper bin into the game, into the workspace. So you should find it here in basic objects, hopper bin, just double click that, uh, cut it and paste it into the starter pack. Okay, so now that it's in the starter pack, uh, you c should see that the icon looks a bit different to the tool icon. As you, as you can see, it has a little script here next to the tool icon. So it's like it's like a tool slash script. So what a hopper bin is, is that it's not a tool where you have a handle. You don't need to use a handle with hopper bin. Uh, it's just like a, like a script. So say you, you wanted to make a plane tool. Okay, so you're sitting in a plane and you need a tool to control it you'd probably use a hopper pin okay because it's like a script version of a tool if i'm making sense so if i'm not making sense i'm going to explain more about hopper pins so just click it and you can see in the properties it's got this is a property called bin type and you've got five options to choose from uh, clone game tool grab hammer and game script okay so these the three ones are clone, grab, and hammer. Uh, clone is just you know when you're building, you've got that little clone tool. So you where you copy bricks. That's basically what the clone tool is. If you want to try it out, just select clone, and then play solo. And you need to use another brick to copy. Um, then there's the grab tool. It just grabs a brick, and you can move it wherever you want. You've probably heard of these things. And then the hammer tool, which is basically delete. So you go around deleting things, okay? So that's what those three are. Then you've got two, which are game tool and script. Now I don't have a clue what game tool is. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know. I don't. I don't use hopper bins that much. You don't really need to use them either. They're quite out out of date, really. You don't really use hopper bins that much anymore. But if you do want to use a hopper bin, then set the bin type as script, okay? Script. Now what you've got to do is insert a local script into there because we don't we're not going to be inserting the script into the workspace it's just going to be inside the character so we'll make it local okay so first off uh, tool equals script dot parent player equals game dot players dot local player okay those are the two things two things you're gonna need. Now we need a we need an event where you click. So remember in a tool when you click then it's called activated. The event is called activated. Or you can make a different event which is the mouse button one down click. Wait no, mouse button mouse down, something <laughs> something like that. But yeah, button one down event. But in the hopper bin it's slightly different it's not you don't have activated in the hopper bin and you don't have equipped in the hopper bin there's no equipped event but instead there is a selected event so let me just finish the event okay the selected event is exactly the same as the equipped event in a normal tool Okay, just that in a hopper bin, it's called selected. Okay, uh, it still passes through the mouse, so let's just call that M. The mouse is M. Okay, so it still passes the mouse argument or parameter. Um, so it's it's the same as the equipped event, but it's just called selected in a hopper bin. And from here, we can just change things. We can say M dot button one down connect. I don't know if that's the right. <laughs> event name but we'll see okay so and you can just change it so when I press a button uh, it does something and uh, m dot key down so it's like it's like a tool really except you don't have a handle so you wouldn't really want to make a gun in that with hopper bin if you were making something like a gun or a sword then you'd use a tool not a hopper bin because with a gun and a sword, you need something to hold, like a handle. Whereas in a hopper bin, you don't need that. You don't need a handle. Okay. 
as you can see I've just put a script in there but no handle so m dot let's take out the key down uh, button one we're going to use the key down event like I showed you last tutorial m dot key down connect function uh, function end okay and key key pressed now this is what hopper bins are really for if I were to uh, key pressed I don't know if I've shown you this basically to join a string to another string you just use the double dots two full stops or yeah or in America you call them periods but I call them full stops anyway I think I've already taught you that oh well um, so this is what hopper bins are used for if you want to say give someone a tool so when they press a letter like say they're in a plane and you want to start the plane up by pressing the Y key then you'd use a hopper bin because you don't need a handle to do that uh, you just need a script to do that so when you press Y then it does something it starts the plane up where in this case it prints key pressed and then the key that you pressed okay so that's all this will do uh, might as well just go try that see if it works because I do often get things wrong in this. Okay. Start server, start player, and we'll see if it works. After this, I'm going to quickly show you a better way of getting what key is pressed by a player. Okay. So, whoops, I've still got it in. I've got it in the, in, in the grab thing, not select. Hold on. Right, no, it is script. As you can see, if I if I change it like this, then it changes the the icon of the hopper pin. But we'll keep it as script. And you can see when I press the letter H, it comes up with key pressed H in the output. If I press Y, it comes up with key pressed Y. So that's what hopper pin does. Now there's a better way of getting what key is pressed. Now, instead of using a hopper bin, because hopper bins are quite old now, um, you can still use it if you want, but I don't. Uh, I've made this little thing here. Um, basically, it's this, this script here, uh, mouse config. It it gets the mouse from the player. It's a local script, so we can get a local player. It gets the mouse from the local player, and whenever you press a key then it outputs what key you've pressed but notice how this is not in a tool it's what it's going to do is it's going to be inserted into the player GUI so you can see s equals script.mouseconfig so this and then when a player is added to the game uh, mouseconfig equals the clone of this so we're going to clone this mouseconfig script uh, we're going to insert it into the player and we're going to make it not disabled so as you can see it's been disabled here because we're not using it yet until we put it into the player um, when we do put it into the player then we can make it uh, enabled we can enable it so that's what this does uh, what the mouse config script does is it just gets the mouse uh, when you press a key it prints the key and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this works it's it's like it's doing the same thing as what I did with the hopper bin but we're not putting this script into a tool or a hopper bin it's just getting sh inserted into the player GUI okay and it's just to show that local scripts work when they're in the players GUI uh, player GUI okay so if I go to players player one player GUI uh, whoops I haven't inserted it into the player GUI I've inserted it into the player script.parent equals player dot player GUI okay now let's test this and it should work okay just wait for that to load right so players player one play GUI and where is it Oh no. Play GUI is not a valid member. What? 
It is. What are they talking about? It is. Mm, oh, I know, I know. I know what I've done. Basically, when you're using the player added thing, if you want to get the player GUI, then what happens when a player joins a game is that the player loads first, and then the player GUI, uh, the little folder for the player GUI, it loads after. It doesn't load with the player. It loads afterwards. Okay, so it doesn't load instantly. It takes time for the player GUI to load. So what we should do is, we should say, uh, player. No, we should say, GUI equals uh, player wait for child player GUI okay and then we can set the parent to GUI now what this does is we're going to set we're going to say this variable here GUI is equal to the player GUI but because I said that the player GUI doesn't load instantly with the player we need to actually wait for the player GUI to load before we can actually start to insert something into it Okay, so what this here script, uh, what this line does is, it waits for the player GUI. Okay, once the player GUI loads, then we're going to set the player GUI to this variable here, and then we can move on to line five because the player GUI is loaded. Okay, loaded. Move on to line five. Set the parent of this mouse config script to the GUI. Okay, so now if we test it it should work. If it doesn't work, I will be angry. This is all good scripting practice. When something doesn't work, try and figure it out. Okay. So, players, player one, player two. Okay, you can see that it's inside my player GUI now because I've waited for the GUI to load. Now I've inserted it in. Okay. So, Here's the mouse config thing script. It's been enabled. So let's test it. I'm pressing G and yep, key pressed G. I'm pressing H. I'm pressing J. And you can see in the output that it loads up. It, it prints what key I've pressed. Okay, so that's, that's that. I think I have taught you everything that I wanted to teach you. Um, so yeah. At the end of the day, it's your decision whether you use hopper bin or whether you do it this way, like I've done it here. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to teach you today. And I think that covers everything to do with tools uh, that I know of. If I think of anything else that to do with tools, then I will teach it to you later on in the series. But hopefully next tutorial I can teach you something else apart from tools. Well, something unrelated to tools next time, okay? So, yep, I'll see you in the next tutorial then. Bye.